I don't think that the Marvel Universe needs me. I think they're doing all right as they are. <laughs> I beg to differ. I think Finn Whitehead would be a great addition to the MCU. What do you lot think? Let me know in the comment section. Hey guys, it's Max. This is Flip Your Wig. Uh, welcome along if you're a new um, subscriber. And if you are already a part of the community, good to have you here. Make sure you've turned your notifications on so you don't miss a video. Right, you're going to be hearing from Finn on what he thinks about his mate Will Poulter and Harry Styles joining the Marvel Universe later. Kempton Bunton, you were charged that on the 21st of March 1961, you stole from the National Gallery a priceless portrait of the Duke of Wellington by Francisco Jose de Goya. But first, I want to tell you about this brand new movie he's starring in. It's called The Duke, guys. It is wonderful. I checked it out last week. It's funny, it's smart, it's so relevant. And it also stars two incredible people. Dame Helen Mirren and the wonderful Jim Broadbent. I've got interviews with both of them coming very soon. Right, so this film, it's special. It's been made by Roger Mitchell, who's an acclaimed um, theatre director. He's also done films like Notting Hill, total classic, uh, Morning Glory, Blackbird. Sadly, Roger passed away last year. So for a lot of the cast and crew, it's a bit bittersweet that the film's being released now and he's not here to enjoy it with them. I asked Finn um, what it feels like to have worked with Roger. I mean, just every day was, it sounds really, it, it sounds, it, it's not disingenuous at all. Every day with Roger really was a joy. Like, he was just an incredible director, like, so unbelievably talented and just so lovely and giving. Um, so it is, it is very bittersweet to, to be here and not be able to celebrate with him, but I think we're all just going to do the best job we can of celebrating him today because he he deserves it the taxpayer paid for that bin they could have given thousands to war widows and pensioners it's for the greater good of mankind mankind what about your own kind i feel like this is so timely i watched it the other day and i just found myself thinking why did this happen in the 60s and everything i'm watching is kind of happening right now and it's all the things we're talking about i think that like the sort of the driving message of the film is sort of togetherness and community <laughs> and relying on each other um, and the fact that we need each other which I think is really a really important message at all times and particularly now when there is so many different things at play that are at play to sort of make us feel isolated and make us feel like we are separate um, and that's that, for me that is the beauty of, of the script and of the film is, is, is the message of togetherness and community yeah. and kindness and joy and family and yeah. all of those things definitely I don't know if you ever get a moment where you think, how lucky am I? Emma Thompson, Christopher Nolan, Kenneth Branagh. Um, I'm probably missing a whole load of other people. No, Dame Helen Mirren, Jim Broadbent. I mean, what, your, first of all, your camera reel must be amazing on your phone. Uh, I mean, what's it like? It's amazing. I mean, I, ne I, never, I never expected to be where I am. I've been, I've been young, unbelievably lucky and I'm just really grateful. Um, just trying to enjoy it really because I, this, I mean, it is, it is, it is crazy. Um, so yeah. Working with these two, yeah. they seem lovely. They're amazing. Um, and they, they were your parents, they were. right? Um, how were they as parents? Uh, in the film, as parents, they're quite. Uh, it's quite a, uh, <laughs> volatile. Is probably not the right word. It's quite a tense home situation. I think yeah. that's probably the right word. But they're. Both clearly amazing parents, you know, their char the characters they play are both so Which loving. What's Helen and Jim like? Amazing. <laughs> like, just really lovely. Yeah. Just really nice to everyone and unbelievably talented and hardworking. So, sort of just a joy to work with, yeah. One problem. What's that? Your mother. I can explain. I'm shaking. It's the shock. Shock, yes, I'm shocked there's a stolen masterpiece in my wardrobe. Your career, it's been really interesting because you're a rising young actor, but you've always managed to keep a level of privacy, which I think is lovely to see. Um, you do your films, you do your TV shows, then you disappear and live your life. How important is it for you to have that balance and just be like able to be with your real family and friends at times? It's just a personal preference of mine. I mean, it's like each to their own. Um, but for me, I just, I know that I, I just, I, I just, yeah, I just, just enjoy a bit of privacy. It's not, there's no, there's no, it, I, I mean, I, I think there's so, it's so easy now to sort of um, edit what you show the world and, and kind of show and, and sort of put a lot of things out there rather than sort of 
focusing on yourself. Um, so I just, it's just a personal preference for me and for my own happiness that I just enjoy to just keep myself to myself. Okay, two of your mates. I recently spoke to one of them, Will Poulter. They both joined um, the Marvel Universe. Will's excited and he's got really hench and huge. Um, and Harry is the god of sex. <laughs> yeah, he, po he pops up at the end of the Eternals. Very funny, very kind of cheeky. Um, what do you think about that? How do you think they'll they'll be as superheroes? I think they'll be great. I mean, they're both. Uh, they don't need me to to. It doesn't take, it doesn't need me to tell you that they're great actors. You can sort of see it for yourself. They're both great actors. Um, I'm sure they're going to do amazing jobs. So for you, is this something perhaps you would be tempted to do in the future? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's I've, I've never. I haven't really based my career on sort of like thinking ahead too much. It's much more just taking things as they come and, and reading scripts as they come. Um, I don't think I don't think that the Marvel Universe needs me. I think they're doing all right as they are. <laughs> uh, but I, the, yeah, there's um, uh, potentially. I, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? I'd love to see a film with you, Will and Harry. That would be interesting. Although Will's like huge. Will, he is, he's a beast. Yeah, he's a beast. I saw some photos recently. I was like pretty. He said during lockdown, all he was doing was lifting. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Listen, awesome. Lovely to talk to you. You are super talented to watch and I'm really excited to see what else you do. Thank you for the chat. Thank you. Too. How do you plead? Not guilty. Yes! For those unfamiliar with court proceedings, that was the plea, not the verdict. <laughs>